Hi, I'm Aether here with Create Your Future and thank you for clicking on my video. I truly appreciate that. And also, if the video resonates with you in some wonderful way, then please leave a comment. I would love to read it and also respond. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, share and like. That is so, so important for the channel. The channel, Create Your Future, is giving away a free course, How to Find Your Blocks to Manifest anything fast check it out i also have courses available right now and all my coaching currently is on sale for 50 percent off so check all of that out and today we're going to talk about i am let me ask you to be conscious of how many times do you say i am in a day and what is the phrase behind that i am i am tired I am so weary, I am frustrated, I am angry, I am hungry, I am thirsty, I am so poor, I am in pain, I am hurting all over, I am emotionally stressed out right now, I am overwhelmed, I am, I don't even want to keep saying it because I don't want the universe to think that that's who I think I am because that's not truth. Who I think I am is I am amazing. I am healthy, I am pain free, I am madly in love, I am full of all the beautiful energies that the universe has, I am every desire of my heart, and the list could go on and on. Make sure that when you are using the word I am, the phrase following it is in alignment with what you want or something positive. I am wealthy, even though the bank account shows the opposite. Internally, I am wealthy, because why? We want to live from the end of having whatever it is our heart desires. So if I am physically experiencing discomfort of some kind, what am I saying living from the end of already having my wish fulfilled that I have perfect health? I am perfect health. I am pain free. I am healthy, energetic, vibrant. I am feeling young and beautiful and, and vivacious, sexy, whatever it is that your heart is desiring. I am with the person that I am so deeply in love with. I am in love. I am loved. I am valued. I am wanted. All of those things are so important. When you say I am, you are declaring your state of consciousness. And what does the universe reflect back to us? Our states of consciousness. And when you are saying I am tired, it is connected to a feeling. You're saying it because you feel tired. When you say I am overwhelmed, it is connected to a feeling of being overwhelmed. When you say I am joyful, it is connected to a high to a higher elevated emotion that says I am joyful. You feel joy. I am peaceful. What do you feel? Calm and peace and serenity. I am abundance. What do you feel? Abundance. You feel you feel joy and relief. You feel good. And so whatever it is that you are connecting to that phrase, I am, needs to be in line with the state of consciousness that you want to project out to the universe or to the quantum field because it mirrors back. It really reflects you back to you. So whatever's showing up currently in your 3D reality is only a reflection of what you're putting out. You look in a mirror and you see yourself. You see your hair looking a certain way. You see your face looking a certain way. And it's mirrored back exactly what you are seeing in the mirror. It's mirrored back to you. Why? It's because what you are looking, what you are is what is in the mirror. And it has to be reflected back. So what you are internally is reflected back to you by the universe. It only sees who we are. It only recognizes the state of consciousness we are showing it. So if you're fearful and you're anxious and you're worried and you're not living from a state of having whatever it is your heart's desiring by feeling the feelings, how do we walk through our day living from the end of 
our wish already fulfilled and feeling those feelings. It's really difficult to walk through the day or walk by your SP who's ignoring you. Well, yes, but internally you're living by the emotion. You're not living by the physical facts of what's going on in the 3D. You're living from an emotion inside of you that is connected to a vision in you that says I'm already with my specific person. So you must be defined by a vision for your future of what it is you want to experience, not what you are experiencing. If you are living or being defined by your current circumstances in your current 3D reality, then all you're doing is projecting that out into the universe, it will be mirrored back to you and you get more of the same old thing. So when people con come to me or even when I experience the same stuff showing up over and over, I know for them and for myself that I am projecting out of being defined from my current reality, my current circumstances, instead of being defined by the vision that I have for my future. Because why? In this moment, is when I get to choose my future 3D circumstances. If I base everything in this moment on the current 3D circumstances, which you know is a reflection of your past thoughts, then I am creating more of those same kinds of circumstances that I don't want. But if I recognize in this moment, I have the beautiful, opportunity to project out of me by being defined from the vision of my desired future what I want to experience. So in the moment, I may be walking by an SP in my current 3D reality who is ignoring me and instead of reacting and getting upset, I define myself not by that, but by my vision for the future where that same person is madly in love with me and constantly, relentlessly pursuing me. And I live from that emotion. What does it feel like for your specific person to be wanting you and longing for you and calling you and texting you and you know, pursuing you all the time, wanting to spend all their time with you. What's that feel like? Wonderful, right? What's it feel like to be in love and to be loved in return by the person you love? Feel those feelings. So walk by that person in your current 3D reality with them acting the way they are acting as a result of your past thoughts and feelings, but living, not defined by that, but living defined by the vision in your mind of what you do want and feel those feelings that that person is crazy about you and so in love with you. You can do that with everything, not just specific people. And specific people does not have to be a romantic situation. It can be any person or any situation. However, you can do that with your health too. That's a situation, right? I can see myself, even though in the three day I'm walking around looking and feeling a certain way, do I define myself by that and say, oh my God, no, 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 or I'm in so much pain. No, you, you experience it in the 3D, but in externally, knowing that it is a reflection of your past thoughts and you live defined, not by that negative stuff, but defined by the vision you have for the future, which is perfect health, energy, vibrancy and you have to live in that emotion so you don't have to walk out being that person's major interest in life if that's not happening in your 3d what you have to do is walk out that 3d internally feeling you are that person's major interest and love in life feeling the feelings of having them in your life now, everything is done. Did you know that the past doesn't, everything happens in the now. There, it's an illusion. Time is an illusion. The past does not really exist other than it's happening right now. The future, it doesn't exist. It's happening right now. There's only now. So what can you do in now? You can create the world that you want to experience for the next now. And that can be whatever it is your heart desires. There is no limitation and everything is possible. I am my, my, my whatever I want. I am. Stay in a positive mindset with the words because when you say I am, you're declaring. 
the truth of who you are. You are declaring your state of consciousness to the universe. And what did I say a while ago? The universe reflects back to us because it's a mirror, our current state of consciousness. So when I say I am happy, then it's going to reflect back happiness to me. More opportunity for me to feel happy. When I say I am loved and adored and, and that I matter, I am important, I am valued, I am so, so whatever I want to be, then the universe reflects back to me all those good things that I just declared into my life, more and more of it, so that I feel more and more loved, valued, wanted, special, whatever it is, healed, happy, you know, whatever it is you want, peace. And if you're struggling with depression, and I am depressed, you better stop saying it, because you're just going to keep getting more of it. But if you start saying that I am peaceful, I am calm, I am so happy, I am enthusiastic about life, and it feels unreal. It feels like you're pretending and deceiving yourself and that's okay because you know what a belief is? You have a belief that I am depressed because of this, this, and this, and this that happened in my life. Well, that was nothing more than a, a whole bunch of thoughts that you kept having over and over and over that says, because this happened, I am depressed. I am abandoned. I am betrayed. Well, stop and start saying, I am loved. I am accepted. I am enthusiastic about life. I am energetic. I am expecting good things in my life. And it, that's a combination of thoughts that will become a belief if you continue saying it over and over. You don't believe it until it becomes a belief. And it cannot become a belief until you say it over and over and over and rehearse it. Uh, rehearse it over and over in your mind. It has to be something that you repeat. And that's why we say intentions are so important, to repeat that I am the most beautiful, wonderful person in the world and I'm so excited about life and I'm so energetic and I'm so happy. Even though the 3D is going to pot, <laughs> and not literally, but you get what I'm saying. And so stay in a mindset always with your intentions of what you do want. And if you do that, you will discover that depression and betrayal, feelings of being depression. And, and you know, for a long time after my, my spouse passed away, I, I was so sad deep inside. And it wasn't until one day when I realized that those emotions were from something that happened many years before, a couple years before, and that I was still living in that old experience where that I had lost someone that I loved. But then I realized that my happiness isn't dependent on the past. That's an illusion. It doesn't exist anymore. And that that person had moved on in life anyway. They're not gone. They're just in a different dimension. And so I can move forward with joy in my life. So I started saying, instead of saying, I, I don't feel joy anymore. I, I wish I knew what joy was. I can't feel joy anymore. I stopped saying it. I am sad. I stopped saying it. And I started saying, I am joyful. And I stopped feeling guilty that I was living and could say I'm joyful when I had lost somebody. I stopped that. I let all that go. And I started living from a state of joy. And guess what happened? One day, I remember calling my daughter and saying, oh my gosh, I feel so much joy. And I've had it ever since. But I had to practice the new emotion. I had to start where it felt not real. I had to start where I felt it was pretend and faking me faking and delusional. I had to be delusional that I feel happy, that I feel joy, that I feel a, re a reason for living, that I feel purpose in life. And I kept saying all those positive things, I am joyful, I am peace, I am calm, I'm expecting good things in my life. And I kept saying that, I am in love with life. I kept saying that until one day, and I don't even know how it happened, all I know is one day I just realized I felt internally so much joy. It happens naturally, organically. We don't know when and how and why it does, other than we know that our stuff 
that we put out is reflected back to us, and it did. And so there you are. So I am is so important that whatever you say behind it, I am is a declaration. The universe takes it seriously as that's my state of consciousness, so I'm gonna give you more I. But you don't want more of the negative, you want more of the positive. So hang in there and say, even though you don't feel like it, that's okay. And even though it feels delusional and pretending, I hear so many people saying, yeah, but I feel like I'm pretending I don't believe it. You're not going to believe it until you make, to say I am prosperous over and over and over and over and over till that thought becomes the belief. It's a combination of the thought of thoughts that make a belief. So you can't have a belief until you're thinking something that's in alignment with the belief that you want. So I am in love or I am loved by my SP. You've got to say it over and over and over, even though they're acting differently than that. I am in love with my SP. My SP is in love with me. Say it over and over, no matter how unbelievable it feels. And then don't give in to that and just keep doing it, keep rehearsing it. And eventually, that combination of positive thoughts of I am loved by my specific person will become a true belief because that's the way it works. And then what's happening as you do that, you're, you're changing your state of consciousness. Your energy is now changing from sad, wanting and having and crying and miserable to joyful, expectant and happy that I am in love and loved by my specific person. What's the universe do? It reflects back to us who we think we are. It reflects back to us, not who we think we are, but who we are, our state of consciousness. And so there you go. You have to be delusional in order to get or to move your energy from one state of not having into a state of having. You have to feel that way. And the more you do it, it gets easier and easier. I feel so excited about life. I have so much purpose in life. I am so loved by my specific person. Feel how that feels. The feeling is so important. And remember, if you have to walk out into the 3D, stuff that's opposite of what you want is an internal feeling. You don't have to change or figure out what you're gonna do with that person. You can walk by them, they can ignore you and you keep going your way, they go their way and inside you are feeling the feelings of being with them. And that's all you need to do because your, the universe isn't reading what just happened in the 3D. It's reading your feelings. It's reading your state of, which makes up your state of consciousness. It makes up your energy. And it's reading your energy, your state of consciousness. And what does it reflect back? Our state of consciousness, our energy. So if you have questions about this, please leave a comment, ask a question, schedule a coaching session and we can talk it out and make it specific to your, um, your circumstances and your heart's desire. And remember, you are either defined by the past or what's going on in your current 3D reality, or you are defined by the vision for your future of what you want and that in this moment is when you get to decide what your next 3D reality is by what you are thinking and feeling they go together thinking and feeling do not say your intentions in a rote way they have to be felt an intention goes nowhere without the feeling of being that thing blessings and again if you need any help schedule an appointment blessings